Hello, friends. I'm letting you out of the school box. You oh, have I gotta not have a gotten box. the key. <laughs> oh. I was excited. I was ready. It's like, let's go. Yeah, you you haven't gotten a key for the cage. It would be very strange if they were just keeping souls locked up without any locks. I mean, I'm still a little confused because the souls, aren't they like ghosts? Why, why don't they just float between the bars? This is literally the afterlife. Magic. This is a world yeah, in which okay. we've killed multiple gods. Yeah, all right. Do you think they wouldn't know how to imprison souls in literal hell? <laughs> no, it does not mean murder. It means actually getting the keys from the wardens and then unlocking the cages so the souls can go free. It, it genuinely means free some souls. We're in hell right now. Literal, actual Warcraft hell. We're not in souls. like a we're not in a new air like like plant, place on the planet or anything. We are literally in actual hell. It's called the Maw, and irredeemable souls go here. But something broke, and now all souls are going here. So we had to go try to figure it out because this is where Sylvanas went. And I was genuine actually, actual hell. <laughs> I was actually doing like a little yeah. Look at this place. It's uh, it's definitely not great. And but but then I was like, oh yeah, can't see. Wait, where where blue dot? Blue dot. Yeah. They're blue dot. No, here, I'll I'll show it to you. Uh, uh no, here. This Do is it. this is the maw. This is hell, and that blue stuff there. That's our world. Uh, that's genuinely our planet. So basically, uh, I I cut it in on the video that I posted yesterday. But there's a cutscene in which Sylvanas beats the shit out of Bolvar and takes the Helm of Domination and rips it in half, which then does that to the sky, and there's a portal between hell and our world now. Uh, so we then it's had unpleasant. to go to hell, <laughs> because a bunch of our world leaders got kidnapped and taken to hell, because Oopsie -doopsie. World of Warcraft. <laughs> and then we have to deal with the internal politics of, of, of hell and heaven, basically. Well, there's four versions of heaven, and they are a whole other thing that we will deal with as well. But then there's also hell, who is this. Yeah. And not to be confused with hell, which is where Helia's at. No, God, that's Helheim. Delivery. Or Helheim. That is, Which is that not, is not you know, hell. that's a different, that's a different hell. We've a couple different hells. Think about it. Oh, that's funny. I love it. I actually think I have. Which, yeah, I've got a key. So you said something about Helia. <laughs> yeah, Helia. I'm sure Helia is in here somewhere. Oh, we'll see something. her soon. Don't worry. Oh, great. There we go. I got, I had a, I had a bunch of keys on me, so yeah. I like how the colors go. <laughs> I like the red into the blue, it's pretty. Yeah, basically, um, so the story that we know of so far is something in the machine of death broke a few years back. Uh, which, is, the Machine of Death is a whole thing that is explored in this expansion. But what we know is the mortal realm was set up to basically generate energy for hell. It's actually very shockingly similar to the story in, uh, in Doom Eternal, which is weird. Um, but something broke. And all of the energy, instead of co going and being, like, set to go to everywhere and in the afterlife and stuff, then instead goes to, uh, goes all to hell. And that is strengthening someone named the Jailer, and the Jailer is going to cause some problems. Uh, he's locked up down here, but now he's free, and also he apparently wants to destroy the entirety of existence. 
So, you know. But also Sylvanas is like, happy. yo, why is our entire existence in the mortal realm just part of a machine to keep this one dude imprisoned? Our, in, our entire existence is suffering and it's all to keep this one guy chained up. What the fuck? So, yeah. yeah. But basically the way it works is your soul is formed. It is then sent to the mortal plane. You are born in some form or another, whether you are a plant or animal or, or person. You live your experiences through your life, gaining knowledge and everything else. You die. Your soul is ferried off to someone named the Arbiter who decides where your soul will go, to one of the four houses in heaven, or to the Maw. Um, and... Then, depending on where you go, you, your different things will... Oh, I wasn't going to do that until I was done explaining this, but okay. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I was just clicking uh, things. <laughs> I didn't realize you had stopped. Okay, um, sorry. The, uh... The, so basically, your experience and, like, lived... L your life is basically called anima. And anima is what powers everything in the afterlife, in the Shadowlands. So your anima is taken and fed into wherever you go, and you can choose to either remain in the Shadowlands or be reborn. Um, and that's the cycle. So you go back. If you, if you are reborn, you go back. You gain more anima, anima. You die. You come back up here. It's taken. You go back. Or you stay up here and become a one of the Valkyrie who the Kyrians who ferry the souls from the mortal world to the Arbiter, or you become part of Meldraxxus, who is the military arm of the Shadowlands, or you go to Revendreth, which is like this gothic vampiric area that are the, they're the people who make the bad ones atone for their sins. And if also, if you're a really shitty person and you've done a lot of terrible things in your life, you also go there and they will basically torture the sin out of you. And if it, if they can't actually make you redeemable, they then throw you into the maw, which is hell. Um, or there's, if you're a nature spirit and stuff like that, or want to help nature in some way, or had a great affinity for nature in your life, you go to Ardenweald and you help tend the, like, nature spirits like the wild gods and stuff like that who die until they are ready to go back and be reborn again. That kind of stuff. And all of that broken now, everything is going to the maw and feeding the jailer. So everywhere else is in a drought and all kind of slowly dying because they're not getting any anima and everything is going to the jailer. So anyway, let's continue. A just cause is always worth fighting for. Right. I ate my grilled cheese while V's was explaining that. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of, I was trying to buy you some time so you could eat. <laughs> and also Aww. I needed to explain what the fuck is going on. So let's save Anduin. He's the human. He's not really a king because he's oh. not married. But yeah. We have a journal. That's cute. I, I don't uh, know how to make the journal go away. Oh no. What journal? Uh, like the adventure guide? There was... No, there was a thing where your journal's been updated. And I clicked it, and, um... I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know. Let me see what, you, what you're seeing. Oh, it's already gone. Oh, it's already gone? gone? Okay. That's fine. I'm just very confused, because I don't know what that is. I hey, wonder cool. if I can... Make it talk. Oh! Okay, I see. So if you go into your um, your quest stuff and you click where it says Shadowlands campaign, there's a little oh, book. Yes, that was if that was added in the that was. Oh, okay. I thought you meant a different thing. No, that's that was added yeah, in, yeah. The, in the last patch. That's yeah. That's called the journal. And apparently, when you do stuff, it'll say your journal's yep. been updated, and you can like click it, and it'll pop it up and give you a review. That's kind of nice. Yep, it's a whole story, basically story uh, thing for whatever's happened already in your thing. 
so you can catch up if you need to after you're done with stuff. I don't know. I don't need <laughs> it. I've already seen all these stories, so. Could you make sense of what it said, Lord Admiral? In the cauldron it spoke of lies beyond the River of Souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. Convenient. Ooh. Our course is clear. Look, Gordon, a plot device. <laughs> Our friend Bane just happens to be held exactly where we need to go. All right, I'll take the helm back. Thank you. Hey, Jaina, what you got? Uh, yep, we have to cross the bridge over Goragoa, the River of Souls. And let's go. So we Hello. kind of started going towards the River of Souls before. What is it? Still no sign of Tyrande. We cannot leave her alone in this nightmare. She would leave you here. How to find her? We will do our best, but this waystone. Yeah. Tyrande sucks. Tyrande sucked before Teldrassil got burned, but now she's even worse. I don't think I don't she like really metals. even cares about being here, honestly. Oh no, she's just here to kill Sylvanas. That's it. That's all this well, is. I know, that's what I'm... That's what I'm saying is, it's like... You know, she don't care. No, yeah, she's perfectly willing to be in hell as long as she can kill Sylvanas, because that's what she's supposed to do. Because she became the Night Warrior. Alright. Oh, you're behind me. Caught. Hello, wife. How are you? I'm, I'm coming. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Ooh. What's going on here? Whoa! Excuse? Oh, that's what you're looking at. Hello, wife. She got a boat for it on her shoulder. She do. All right. So we should get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but there's a bunch of tentacles here. Oh, yeah, you're behind me. <laughs> Just like freaking Chuck. Yes, Thrall's a fucking idiot. <sighs> Above. Is that the jailer? He has pain. The jailer's a big boy. Cause you gotta understand oh? that little red thing in his hand there, that's Bane Bloodhoof. Bane is like nine feet tall, and he is literally being held up by the jailer like a fucking rag doll. Whoa! The jailer's Golly, a Golly, he is big. Big boy. I will do Oh jeez, yeah, cause yeah, big boy. Oh, golly, oh, no. You're, you're cutting out a ton again. Oh. You're cutting out a ton. Sorry. I find your spirit. I don't want to play with you anymore. Fucking literally goddamn Woody nightmared this motherfucker. <laughs> well, Alright. Wounds beyond flesh. So yeah, he's got he got his soul cut up by a dot by a dagger here. Well that's rude. Yeah. Okay. Wait, quest to Thrall, go do some more get... murder. Well, did you get quest his uh, quest his more... axe quests as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he, he wants a new everything. axe. Fucking dumb asshole. Threw his goddamn axe away. Mm. Now we have to get him another weapon because he's a fucking asshole. God, I don't like Thrall. And he's being picky about Come it. Come on, Metzen. Let's go. 
I just tried to use charge because I'm so used to playing on my hunter and I just summoned wolves <laughs> when I really didn't need to use that cooldown. Uh, that was extremely quick. I got that dagger in one. Though I've never understood why the Alliance seems so fixated with swords. <laughs> Too much blade. Not enough. Oh my goodness. Why are you so picky? Because he's... They had to make Thrall a warrior because he's still being a little bitch about how he super murdered Garrosh unfairly. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Let's take one more look. Work complete. There, are you happy now? Yes, he gets a fucking axe. He's. At last. Uh, I'm gonna bitch about. Oh, I'm dropping frames like a motherfucker. What's going on? Oh, no. Um. What is going on? Why is. Why is. Hey, babe, are you Why is rude? Thing? Okay, well, I'm going to mess with some settings really quick. Okay. Because I just dropped 2,100 frames. Hmm. That's a nope. All right. That was... Nope, still dropping frames. Cool. Uh, I fucking hate Twitch. They, they broke something with their fucking ingest servers, and now... Like, everyone I know is constantly dropping frames. Okay. Oh, so we have... We got the dagger to go fix up Bane. I do not have the dagger. Then you need to kill more of these dudes. Mm, always down for some more murder. Do these weirdos even die if we kill them? Yeah. I mean, got you're it. killing a soul. Oh, well, I already pulled, so whatever. It's okay. I'll just do this. I, I am can strong. just self heal. I'm a shaman. I have healing. I just like being strong because I'm a giant hot demon. Oh, God damn it. I yeah. keep forgetting no mounting here. Ugh. Okay, let's go fix Bane I'm a big, really quick. I'm a big old hot demon. I do 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 do. Oh, did you see they, da, da, they da, reduced da. the time that it lasts and also increased like the cooldown, I think? Uh I don't know. Seems to still be pretty uh I haven't actually checked, but yeah. I think it was like from eight seconds to six seconds and then the cooldown got raised by 10 or 15 seconds or something like that. I don't remember. I don't play Demon Hunter, so I didn't mm. pay attention. The, um... The I-beams last about the same. Yeah, it's 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 actual metamorphosis that changed her. Whatever yeah. Demon form. It does have quite a bit of a cool, longer cooldown than I remember, though. It almost did, were it not for this champion. Ta -da. You're welcome. Okay, I would just like to point out again that this is Bane. This motherfucker is huge. Like, he's... Him big. I don't even come up to his nose, and I'm one of the taller races. Uh, The Jailer was holding him in one hand like he was a fucking, like, doll. Stand I wish we had more time. Jailer Big. But we need to move. Understood. Lead the way. We all have our ghosts. We seek a waystone located beyond the cauldron. Have you seen it? I spotted an obelisk of ancient stone upon the high ridge. Okay. Hi, Jaina. I did not see me. I am ready. The jailer's horses pay the jailer's lead. forces see what they think it is. There is no you have a giant totem, just hit him a bunch, it's fine. We hope. Jaina, can you hide us from their what sight? What brings you to me? My spell will get us past How most of his guards. 
but there will likely be some who can see through it. Stay close. Oh. We can't afford Oh yeah, I should probably not be a wolf for this because I actually have to stay close to her. As usual, don't stand in the blue circles. Yeah. I remember this. The size of the jailer's army rivals that of the Legion, and it's growing larger. That makes sense, considering yeah. it's all souls of the dead. So, you know, every mortal who's died has gone to the Shadowlands. Dead of Azeroth, Draenor, worlds beyond our imagination, all damned to this place. It's interesting that the Shadowlands are connected to Draenor, considering that is an alternate timeline. But they still go to the same afterlife. Yeah, I was about to say that's interesting that basically you're telling me alternate timelines and dimensions connect here. It's not just. Mm. It's Alternate all, timeline all shenanigans. mortal planes come to this one, this one plane. So it doesn't matter the timeline. It doesn't matter if it's an alternate universe or something. They still here they come are. here, which is Look, on the platform ahead, odd. That must be the waystone. We need to reach it before the jailer takes notice. Okay. Surely it's not going to be this easy. Let's give it a poke. The was said to be dormant, yet it seems to be reacting to our presence. I can't find a way to activate it. Poke it. I don't think the stone is responding to us. I think it's responding to this champion. Hi. So what? <laughs> Do you want me to poke it now? No? Nope. Nope, okay. Turn in the quest I gotta talk to somebody they first. Reappear. There we go. Hey, Anduin. Yes, we made it. And we can activate it. Yep. They look almost like Titans, but older. Huh. Oh, jeez. It looks Titan... It, it looks Titan-made, but it's older. Poke! I wonder what that's gonna be about. Yeah. Anyway, let's start this up. For the waystone to fully charge. Every second counts. He seems mad. Oh yeah, he doesn't <laughs> like this. He's very say, big mad. I, won I wonder if it's reacting because we have the heart of Azeroth or something. I don't know. There you go. You figured it out. Oh, look at me. We carry the I mean, heart of, of a fucking titan. But it's not titan made, is the thing. It's specifically it's whoever not whoever the first titan ones made. are. Yeah, it's the first ones. And according to, like, the devs, the Jailer is, like, in terms of power, titan plus plus. So... I don't know what that means for us. Mm. Also, Nep, Dana, how's uh, audio? I didn't get a chance to check the actual mix. I had to figure out if I could fix Discord's weird popping issues. I'm sorry, I'm squeaky. I'm still working on it. I, I was more talking about game volume than anything. Well, I know, I just... Eh, works in progress. I'm not faltering. I'm cool and awesome. Unfalterable. I got eye beams. Jazz not drowned out by the game. All that you see, all that you know, will be. Hey, bud. Whoa! You're oh, extremely hey. large. And You're right here. big. Dana, something's wrong. Seems the waste tone has stopped charging. The stone responds to you, champion. Try to activate it while we hold on okay. to the sailor's army. What you waiting on? Nothing escapes the law. Yield to the inevitable. 
They've stopped their advance. The light is with me. Even here. Well, uh, now we actually have to start the expansion. Is attacking Oribos. Defend the Arbiter. Oh. Hold. The Maw's power does I have a many, many ways. No, that cannot be possible. Hey, I'm wow. not dead. To the Eternal City. Hey, uh, Protector Captain, I'm not dead. Hi, yeah. Not dead here. I'm can a ghost I, wolf. All Why can I not talk to you? Oh, there we go. We must bring them to the overseers at once. Okay. Come with us, stranger. I like this place. It's got pretty sky. Well, this is your capital city for now for this entire expansion, so I hope you do, because this is where you're gonna spend a lot of time. Oh, that's nice. The reports from our scribes Friends? were unmistakable. The Maw shuddered for a moment, as if reacting to some change. An ill omen to be certain. <laughs> what can it mean? Overseers. This stranger appeared at the city's Hi. edge. I'm alive. Leave them to be a living mortal. Friend? Uh How may I aid you, mortal? Another what's the purpose? That's interesting. Perfectly. We shall see to their reception. Yeah, I got out of the mall. The mall. So. <laughs> Quite so corporeal. <laughs> Blessed be her. Boy. Yep. There's no such thing as anything being unbreachable. Well, the mall literally couldn't have been opened unless we had the heart of Azeroth. If we didn't, we wouldn't have gotten yeah. it. Yeah. is taught that the mall is unbreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true... The banished one could. Cardelen. Karsher. Purpose be praised. At long last, the Arbiter has stirred. Wondrous news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the moor. Then this mortal appeared, claiming to have broken free of it. A living mortal? Surely their presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they are the key to waking her. Is this mortal worthy of such an audience? They may prove to be an agent of the Jailer. It is the Arbiter's place to judge souls, Kasher, not ours. 
I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. Blessed be her voice. You'll, you'll eventually have a quick portal between your covenant uh, house and the this specific room, but that's not for well, a while. That's Don't nice. Worry. Well, that's still handy. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! What? You're a big, big thingy. Wowzers. I talked to the nice uh, overseer, and now we're in a big scary room with a very large... Uh, I guess that's the Arbiter. Wow! Oh, yeah, that's the Arbiter. Big. Very big. What news do you bring? Until we speak again, she is unchanged. Ever silent, ever still. When you arrived in Oribos, I saw the Arbiter stir for the first time in many cycles. It gave me hope that she would awaken and resume her blessed purpose. Mere words cannot describe the glory that was. Step forward. That I may show you. For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the eternal city, as the shining heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Now souls rich with animals yeah, that's bad. travel only to the mall. We have tried everything to stop it. To awaken our blessed arbiter. To no avail. Without anima, drought has gripped the shadowlands. Ooh. The afterlives have grown isolated. Really? Fear and uncertainty haunt us all with countless souls feeding the jailer i fear he <laughs> may grow strong enough to break free from the maw it is said he is filled with hatred for the arbiter if he strikes her down it would bring the end of everything the first ones made Return to the lower levels. Oh, wow. So I saw where the little gates were splitting up all the different things, and wow. 
hell? Like, in the distance, there's so many gates. I know, infinite afterlives, but it's still just wild to even see, like, an inkling of that. Wow. Well, no, there's not crazy. really infinite afterlives. There's, there's four. They literally just said infinite afterlives. I thought it's... the whole thing was that there was the main four ones, but there was still a whole bunch of other ones out there, even if we don't really get to explore them. I'm pretty sure that thought... all of these are the gates coming in because the gates leading out are downstairs. Well, no, like in the cutscene just now, like the Arbiter was pushing all the souls out to the different gates. And yeah, yeah no, 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 but you can see in the cutscene that there's four beams specifically coming out and then they like stop and all of it goes down to one because we meet Oh. Like, in Ardenweald, we'll meet people from other planets who are in Ardenweald and stuff. Well, yeah, um, and I'm, but, like, still, though, like, I know there's the main ones, but from what my understanding was is that there was still infinite pieces of afterlife. It's just not all of them were quite nearly as massive as, um, you know, Ardenweald and Maldraxxus and stuff, but there were smaller ones out there. They're just oh, yeah, not there's like the, <laughs> the other side and stuff like that. Like there's there's a bunch of little tiny things, but like the primary four are those four, and those are like the ones that, like the other side is created was created by um by Bwamsandi, and it's a place that he specifically yeah. sends troll souls that he doesn't want to go to the maw, and stuff like that because he knows what's going on. Um, but like in terms of that, the the gates here are. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the entrances from different planets, different like all the different pl planes of, uh, or mortal planes and stuff. Cause the um, yeah, I because like they I don't they know. talk about I don't know it's it's whatever it's a fucking the, the four that matter or the five that matter are the ones that we deal with. Uh, okay. The Eternal City must be right, The new presence of Shadowlands may help our cause. And yeah, you guys built everything and then we'll go see stuff. Okay, now we have to go look at everything in this entire fucking city. So... There's a Aww, lot to do. Aw, has a cute moth pet. It's cute. And yes, Arbiter, very pretty. More outsiders. What have you done, mortal? Be at ease. I am Bolvar Fordrag. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they found a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can aid us. Work complete. Okay, let's go now. Uh, have to learn ev everything. Oh God. We all have a duty to fulfill. Oh, yep. that's a cool friend. Helm got you here, and we can leave the helm here, so let's go take this dude and go open a portal so we can go back and forth to Ogremar. Because, of course. Oh dear. Oribos is crowded enough with so many brokers arriving every day. The funny thing is, is portals in WoW make no fucking sense because you can po open portals to alternate timelines, in alternate dimensions, across planets, and also apparently to the afterlife. <laughs> it's fine. Mages literally learn... Uh, mages literally learn a portal to come to Oribos. Like, they can just teleport to Oribos whenever they feel like. That makes no fucking sense. And yes, I know we look super evil, but we're good, is Bolvar's entire thing. Uh... Well, and the thing with Bolvar is, he's never been evil. He's always been good. Like, he was this, he's like... super good. Paragon of a fucking amazing paladin gets kill, kind of killed, and as he's dying, gets dragon-breathed, which keeps him alive permanently. And no, it's, it's worse. <laughs> he gets 
he uh, he's in a like toxic fucking horrible gas and he gets uh Alexstrasza like tries to burn all of it away and he's caught in the flame cuz she thinks he's already dead so she's just purging everything so that the so that the uh the plague won't spread and so he gets caught in it and Alexstrasza being the dragon of life accidentally <laughs> makes him immortal but Whoopsie. it burns him to that um he's a crispy and, boy yeah so that's why he's like cracking and red and blackened because he's literally been burned to nothing <laughs> And yeah. you can't really see it in the in-game model, but, like, that fire is, like, constantly pulsating in him. It's not like he's just red. Like, no, he's, like, full of, like, life fire, basically. Yeah, no, it's, he's... Uh, and he's also immortal. Like, it is it is confirmed he... He can be killed. He's not invulnerable, but he is immortal. Yeah. So... Yeah. Accidentally created an immortal paladin, dude, and then he was like... Okay, well, I guess I have to become the Lich King because everyone thinks I died anyway, so it'll be the easiest for me to do. Uh, I'm gonna stay up here, and then he, like, exits the story for, uh, fuck, how many he, years? Well, doesn't he, doesn't he have to, like, sit, doesn't he have to, like, stay on the Frozen Throne anyways for, like, seven or 14 yeah, years? Yeah, it's, like, it's eight, it's eight years anyways? he has to, he basically has to. Eight years. He has to wait eight years to form a bond with the helmet completely. And there Acclimate. always has to be a Lich King because the Lich King is like controls all of the undead on <laughs> on the planet. And when there's not a Lich King, uh, all of the undead go rampant and it's the end of the world, which is kind of what's happening right now, which is why we have to fix that helmet at some point. Um, Ooh. And yeah, he uh, he just kind of takes over a whole goth look. That's actually very similar to Arthas's armor. It just doesn't have the chest piece because, you know, you got to show off the fire titties. Um, fire titties. And I don't know where that hammer's from, but it's dope as hell. So, you know. The yeah, usual. he just kind of found that. It was it was just sitting behind the throne. That's it. Yeah, it was just, just hanging out there. You know, Actually, and he you happened say to get that, there. I was it, like, oh, hey. <laughs> you, no, you, you make that joke, but genuinely, Arthas used to use a maul before he got Frostmourne, so it genuinely could be something that was forged for him and sitting around <laughs> the castle. Aww, uh, yeah, no, cute. gotta show the, the burning goth titty. Gotta, sh gotta show the burning goth titty. Void storage. Only soulbound gear is allowed to be. I don't know what that is, but I'm unlocking it. Sure. It's why not? It's <laughs> void storage is. Oh hey, do you have a tabard that you don't want to waste bank space for, but don't want to get rid of? <laughs> That's mm. basically what void storage is for. Do you have old legendaries or sentimental pieces of gear that you don't want taking actual bank space, but want to store somewhere? Tell me what you need. Well, it's it's been around actually, for a while. It's kind of worthless. I mean, he could just get some chainmail, but he decided to go bear titty, which I respect. My warrior does too. This is the inn. I'm mean, gonna bear titty is the way to go. Honestly, <gasps> if you are a goth himbo, Beard. you better be bear titty. Like it's the only way to live. If you're a goth himbo, it's Oh, is that all the souls? Oh, wow, that's so pretty. I mean, it's bad because they're all going straight down into the maw, but ooh, pretty. Also, <laughs> this skybox is... Jazz, you should come over here and look at the skybox because, oh, it's real fucking pretty. Yeah, I'm making my way over there. It's in one of the stones by the innkeeper. Yeah, these are the new gravestones. Oh, I that. should make this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, that's yeah, that's more first ones. This whole place was built by the first ones, so yeah, it makes sense. Well, yeah, I know. That's what um, I'm saying. Is I was just like, hey, wait, look, that's like literally the exact thing that was sitting in the mall, except uh, it's not broken and sad. Yeah, it's not an it's not a Stussy S. It's a like multiple thing. But um, yeah, this is the new gravestone right here. The thing you just walked past. Um, this is where you will respawn. 
when you die. Oh, wow. Not this particular one. I mean, if I jumped off the side, it would. Uh, but yeah, this this skybox. God, I love it. Orbos is so fucking cool. Yeah, this place is pretty boss. Yeah. Oh wait, Bastion's really, really, really pretty too. Bastion is painfully I pretty. I can't get wait to can't wait to get to Ardenweald. I'm going to cry. Oh, that, I'm just happy that, I'm in Maldrax. There's a drum. <laughs> there's a drum and a bow, and these are definitely from Ardenweald. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's cool. Pretty music. Greetings. All right. Okay. So. I went ahead and made my Hearthstone Ouroboros. Yep. That was probably smart. <laughs> uh, yep. You'll come back here a lot, especially because this is where the bank is. So you know. And I'm gonna be able to use my freaking um fancy Hearthstone and feel a part of the club now <laughs> instead of just being weird. I don't even have that. I just have my my because um, shamans get a Hearthstone teleport basically. Oh. So you can just get rid of your Hearthstone completely and just teleport places. I'm gonna just gonna chuck this shit in here because I don't need it. The Flight Master's whistle is not gonna be useful till after I'm done with the campaign, so I can go in there. The broom can, and then we'll put in the <gasps> wheeled stuff. stuff. Ooh, big old tailoring thing. That's cool. Oh, this is cool. What? So guys, these um, little, little would, dudes, uh, they're cute. Would suggest grabbing the the Shadowlands versions of your professions while you're here, because I don't have any professions on this character. You should choose some professions while you're here. <laughs> I did on um I did on uh, my druid because I figured I'd be playing it more. I never really even we were so go hung with everything. I didn't even think to pick any up. Um. Suggestions? Uh, you are a leather wearer, so I would say skinning leather working. It is clear. You okay. Just as um, a possibility, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I, don't know. I go with what will help me save money in, in the end, so I, I go with whatever will either make me weapons or armor or what will make me money, like alchemy. Herbalism and alchemy make you a lot of money in this game. Well, I picked up leatherworking because, eh. Uh, oh no, Jazz, that's just playing the auction house. That's what this entire game is for some people. The entire game is, oh, how quickly can I hit gold cap? Yeah, no, I know. I was just like, oh, I'll do the leatherworking then, and. No, I was, I was uh, telling, I, I was telling Nep. Sorry, I said Jazz. Oh, I you meant said Nep. Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it, uh, some people are literally, oh, hey, let's just play the auction house all the time forever. Uh, I get to pick two of these, right? Yeah, I would pick skinning and leatherworking. Oh, I must have missed skinning, I guess. Should be right next to the leatherworking guy. Oh, that's my bad that I just totally missed it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot to grab the uh, stuff from the alchemy trainer and forgot to get, like, I, I got my thing, but I didn't learn Everything. new potions. Oh, no, <laughs> I, I did. Never mind. I got the new yeah, potions. Yeah, it just kind of automatically gave me a bunch of stuff, so. Yeah, it is kind of like Neopets all over again. When was Neopets, when did Neopets come out? 2001? 2002? Hi, Overseer. I'm back. 99. Okay, so a couple years is off from when I thought. Um, <laughs> yeah, so five years before WoW. Which, funny enough, I didn't realize the uh, Shadowlands launched yesterday on the 16th anniversary of WoW's launch. Which was kind of cool. Good job, guys. That's why they made it a Monday. <laughs> Yep, you got to take little glimpses into the Shadowlands, and you knew it was really bad, but you couldn't tell what, so we know. It's okay. Hey, Honored Voice, what's up? Can you help us? I like Honored Voice. Seem nice. Sylvanas Windrunner sent her agents to abduct them. Dark-winged beings 
who caught them in chains and dragged them through the shattered sky. The winged Kyrian of Bastion ferry souls okay. from the mortal realm into the Shadowlands, but not with chains. And they are noble, untainted by the Maw. True. But it would seem this is the only clue our mortal friend has to follow. It falls oh. to us to open the way for them. Overseer Karsher, take this mortal to the Ring of Transference. Use our anima reserves oh dear. to open a pathway to Bastion. But honored voice. We have so little anima in our reserves. Surely we should be more. Ooh. See it done, Kasher. Oh, am I gonna be guilty this whole expansion because we're eating all of their power juice to go do stuff? <laughs> nah, they'll be fine. Also, Kasher likes to sit and argue with shit, and I'm assuming that he is actually a bad guy. Come, mortal. So this is like floaty. the third time he's been like, no, you shouldn't do that. And then he's been overruled by the leader, which means he's probably going to actually be a, be a betrayal person and he'll be in league with the jailer. <laughs> I don't know that for certain. It has not happened for me and I have not watched any of the Ouroboros stuff, so I don't know. But uh, that's my, that's my, uh, my current prediction <laughs> of him. <laughs> 